Griefing is a form of online bullying that happens in online games with open PvP. Basically, one player kills another player just because, or they kill a whole bunch of players just because. And a lot of games, a lot of games allow open PvP. There are games like Really Dangerous, which I've streamed on this channel, that has open play and allows open PvP. And it's become so much of a problem on Elite Dangerous that people have flocked to private groups like Mobius where PvP is banned by the group. And FDev has done nothing to stop it. In fact, they've, they've seemingly gone out of their way to encourage it. And there are a lot of other games. There's Rust, AZ, Arc Survival Evolved, where griefing is a problem. It's not just Elite Dangerous, it's a lot of other games. And there's going to be a new game that will be in a similar vein to those, and that is Fallout 76. Now, in interviews at E3, Todd Howard has expressed that Bethesda is aware that griefing can be a problem, that it will likely rear its ugly head. Because whenever you have a lot of people playing in a multiplayer game like that, and you have open PvP, you're gonna have jerks that will go in, wreck everybody's crap, and kill people just because they want to. Just because they want to be jerks. But they will go in, they'll torment people, destroy their stuff, just because, just because. And it's become a big issue in a lot of games, and it's why the population for a lot of online games is small. That's why a lot of people have abandoned open play in Elite Dangerous or Mobius or stopped playing altogether. I stopped playing for a completely different issue. FDev just keeps slapping on the same grind with a different coat of paint instead of making real game content. But moving on from that. One of the ways that has been said that Bethesda will deal with the issue of griefing would be to have private worlds. Not specifically private servers, but private worlds. How this might work is it may work similar to Minecraft's worlds, where you would have your own, not so much server, but, but a private instance that you can play in and you decide who plays in that instant. That might be one way that they can control the griefing issue to a certain extent. Uh, now how the game will work, there won't be any governing faction in Fallout 76. So having some system where some kind of police authority will pop up if people start attacking and killing a lot of people, um, there won't be any instances of that. Not like, uh, you know, GTA Online, where you start killing a lot of people, the cops are going to suddenly swarm you. It's not going to be like that. So, solving that particular problem in the open in open servers is going to be a challenge. And I don't envy them because for a lot of games that want to mitigate griefing, want to mitigate that kind of harassment, it's hard. It's hard without, without completely decoupling player versus environment from player versus player completely and completely segregating people in those, in those environments. It's hard. And they said that you can have a single player experience in 76. They haven't fully explained exactly how that's gonna work because you'll still be playing with other players. So how will you do that while avoiding griefing? 
in the open surface. Now, the one other thing that will be done is not the servers will not be huge, the worlds on the servers won't be hugely populated. Not like Elder Scrolls Online, where you go into a town and there could potentially be hundreds of people there, or dozens. Elder Scrolls Online, which is run by Zenimax and is the owner of Bethesda have this technology called mega servers where multiple servers are all connected to one another and they act like one big server and then rather than put everybody in the same world which would completely overwhelm clients they create shards or instances and you know, if you have people in your friends list and you party up with them and you um, fast travel to them that will move you to the instance they're in, that way you can play with people. Uh, there are, there have been moments where, you know, I have people on my friends list, I can be in the exact same area that they're at and I can't see them and they can't see me. Until I fast travel. And then they can see me. That could be how, that same technology could be what Bethesda is going to use for Fallout 76 to keep populations low in each world. They will have different shards, and each shard will be a copy of the world, and they'll keep the populations low in each world. That means they'll have a lot of shards if a lot of people are playing Fallout 76. So to keep the populations low and keep them from being massive, they'll do that. That's highly probable that's what they're going to do. And, but still, that may not solve the problem of griefing. It would, it would help to minimize the possibility of it, but not by much. So it'd be, I'm curious to see exactly everything that they're gonna do and try, to try and stop it. And what will they do? Will they make it to where if you kill a high degree of people over a certain period of time, will they make it to where the environment becomes more hostile to you? Uh, it's difficult to say how they're going to deal with it. But every interview with Todd Howard I've seen that mentions that issue, or he talks about it, everything tells me that they are aware it's a problem and that they're going to take it seriously. Everything I've seen says they're going to take this issue seriously because if they don't, it's going to hurt their game because it's, it's hurting other games. It's hurting Elite Dangerous. It's hurting Ark. It's hurting Rust. It's hurting a lot of games with open PvP. I've been Mike. Thanks for watching.